Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So I know a lot of you guys are having a problem with the camera that is not working function or you got the black screen. So right here I'm trying to toggle with the, those uh, function, the HDR, the flash, uh, to turn it on and off and stuff like that. But uh, none of those are working, the timer. So I tried to snap a picture and now try to turn on the front facing camera and it is not working. So I'm going to show you guys uh, real quick on how to uh, fix uh, your issues. So first of all, you need to go to uh, setting and then uh, click on accessibility. And you want to go ahead and uh, toggle the voice uh, over on and off. So it's normally you press uh, double tap it to activate and press uh, one time to select. And then you will need to uh, use the three fingers to scroll up and down. So right here, I activate and then turn it off. I'm going to double tap it to turn it off. And then uh, you now next thing you need to do is go to uh, assistive uh, touch to activate it, to turn it on. You're going to press your home button and press the power on the right hand side to uh, to try to power off, but don't power off right here. You're going to press the home button on the assistive touch and press and hold. So the first time you're not worried, you're going to try again until you jump back to the home screen. That means your RAM's got clear. So now we're going to test out the front, uh, I mean the camera. And then uh, voila, it is working. And then uh, I'm going to test out the front facing camera. It is working as well. So anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notification or drop in the comments on below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always, peace. All right, so I'm going to go over the voice uh, over on how to turn on and off for your iPhone 7 or your iPhone uh, 8 and your iPhone uh, 10, 10s Max or 10s Max Pro or iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. So it's a similar method, but the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 will be the similar uh, method. So you're going to go ahead and uh, click on setting. And you're going to go to uh, general. And you're going to scroll to accessibility right here. And right here, you're going to turn on. So you got to play with the on and off, okay? Voice over on, portrait. Voice over on. So once you select it, you got to double, double tap to toggle setting. Double tap. Voice over off. So to turn it off, okay? And now you're going to clear your RAM. You're going to scroll over here, assistive uh, touch. And then you want to activate it. All right, now you see that button. You can uh, move this around. And then there are two ways to uh, clear your RAM or actually uh, shut down, but you don't want to shut down your uh, phone, okay? So the first uh, method is to uh, press the uh, side button or the power button. Press and hold it down. Don't slide to turn it off, okay? You're going to press this uh, assist touch. And then you're going to press this uh, home button that's inside the assistive uh, touch. Press and hold, okay? Once you see that, jump back to the home screen. That means you have uh, cleared your RAM. And this is applied to iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, your iPhone 8, and your iPhone 8 Plus. So another way to shut it down is to go to your setting. And then uh, click on uh, General. Scroll all the way down to uh, shut down. And right here, don't slide to shut it off, okay? You're going to do the same thing. Click on Assistive Touch button, and then click and press and hold down the Home button. So you see a flash, that means clear your RAM. 
And if you don't want to turn that assist touch, just go back to your uh, channel. Go to accessibility. Scroll down to assistive touch and then uh, turn it off. So now we're gonna show you guys on how to do your iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. It is sent for the iPhone 10, 10S, 10S Max, or 10S Max uh, Pro, okay? So let me unlock my if. So you're gonna go click on uh, General. So for the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max is uh, kind of different. Instead of going to uh, General, there's an accessibility right here, okay? Just uh, click on that. And you want to go ahead and uh, voice uh, over, you want to turn it on. Voice of alert, important. Uh, you're going to press one time to select. Okay, button. And then uh, double tap it to press OK. And Settings. Now, now you're going to turn it off. Once you're going to select it here first, you're going to press uh, voiceover to select Voice it. Voiceover on. And then double tap it to turn Double it tap to toggle setting. Double, double tap to turn it off. Voiceover off. Okay. Okay, so we are still under accessibility. You want to go ahead and uh, click on uh, touch. And right here is where you turn on your assistive uh, touch. It's kind of different uh, than the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 7 uh, Plus or the iPhone 8 8 Plus. So you're going to turn that on. Now you see the assistive touch button right there. Now we're going to go back to uh, home. Uh, for the iPhone uh, 10, 10s Max, 10s Max Pro, uh, 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max is different. So we're gonna go to a uh, setting and then uh, go to uh, general. And right here, we're gonna go to uh, shutdown. But don't shut down from here. We're gonna press the assisted uh, touch button right here and press the home button and hold. And then that's how you create your RAM. Somehow with the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, you cannot press uh, the combination uh, button, the volume down, and then the side button. It will not allow you to uh, clear your RAM from here. See, so you press the home button, it doesn't do anything, okay? So anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notification or drop in your comments on below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.